I think both teams fighting, trying to, uh, to be tournament teams, trying to move their way up in the Big Ten. Uh, Illinois was really good, especially down the stretch. Uh, defense was outstanding, except down the stretch. And I think that could be a, for a lot of reasons. I think we, uh, uh, as hard as we work and, it's, and we're in great shape, um, some of our young guys and some of our older guys, it's tough to sustain that energy uh, without uh, having the depth that you probably need in a, in a game with this type of impact. So, hate to lose, but really proud of my team. They're playing as hard as they can play, and uh, we're a few plays away from getting an, uh, another great victory and a road victory, but it didn't happen, and uh, we move on. John, seem to be some difficulty with the game balance plays in the last couple of minutes of regulation there was there an issue just with the limit? well yeah that's and that's the deal I, a lot of people have inbounds issues with that you know and uh, it, the uh, they had fouls to give as well you talk about the lat at the very end oh, regulation. yeah it, and so it's, he's gonna be really good at that it spikes our best passer uh, I could put a taller player out there and they're gonna they're gonna they might throw it away so we didn't throw it, thank goodness we didn't throw it away, but we certainly didn't execute the way we'd like to. Were you drawing that last play up before Spike, and then when you knew you couldn't inbound or you had trouble inbounding, you were just trying to throw it up for somebody else? Well, uh, you're talking about four seconds ago? Yeah. Yeah, no, we had a play we were trying to run. We blew one of the routes that we were running, and uh, and, Spike, and Spike ended up throwing the ball up. I, we were trying to get a couple of options. Um, that was one of them, it was just the wrong group. But it's really hard. Try it sometime to throw it when you're doing it. But I, I would love to have Ricky Doyle throwing it in our big. We do not have the, that type of passing from our big guys right now. So Spike's got to be the one. Uh, if you remember, he's the one that threw it against Purdue last year. He's good at that. What made your zone so effective for much of the game? You, you switched from one through one. Yeah. Three, three, oh, we're getting better at it. I think we're understanding our, our coverages and what we have to do. Uh, it does open up for some rebounding, which hurts us a little bit. But um, we. Uh, you know, we're working on a lot of things, and that, that's probably our issue right now. We're trying to do anything we can to stay in the game. And it doesn't make you, as I told our, our guys, uh, that we're not great at anything right now, and that, that gets exposed sometimes in games. Jim, you had to look Spike as being a defensive stopper, but you really was aggressive. Our Spike? Your Spike. Yeah. I mean, he, he's playing with everything he's got. I mean, he's really upset right now. He's playing with everything he's got. And, uh, you know, he wasn't right in here to be a 39 minute get the ball to him and play ball guy um, and so he's, he's fulfilled a role uh, valiantly at this point and uh, made some big shots for us today. Did you kind of bring up, you know, what happened to Michigan State or, or no. Wisconsin, or do you say, you know, like you guys have to get through the first couple minutes? I, I did say, listen, we're going to be really, we're going to work really hard on these first possessions. Don't panic. Right in the first, if you, if they get up early, it's a long time. Uh, we missed the shot; we threw one away. Uh, I don't, you know, I I think there was a huge letdown that we didn't win that game. And I'm just looking at our our kids, just looked at that time, looked like this was going to be. They didn't have that same like zest that I think you need to go in overtime. We try to get it in, and then they make the first, they score the first six points, and uh, it was tough to come back. Do you worry about you know how much the next overtime? Guys, no, no, no. How much do you worry about the, you know, how much of this can these guys handle? No, no, because they're growing every minute that they're doing it, and so we're not. We don't have that that type of roster right now that's going to blow people away. We're going to be in this every single game, and part of our issue is these late game, these late game adjustments that we have to make in a game. We're we're we haven't been able to work at those as many because we're still trying to dribble the ball and catch the ball on two feet and shoot the ball with good spin and the fundamentals of the game. That these guys, these, all these young kids, shouldn't be in those situations. And they're forced to be, and we got to be get better at it. What was the thought on the, uh, the change in the starting lineup? Oh, I thought Cam had just played better during the week. He had played much better during the week, and uh, so we tried to bring uh, Aubrey off the bench. John Rice returned for them. Um, never really got an offensive flow, but in crunch time there seemed to be a lot of plays, rebounds, steals. Yeah, he's a he, he's a player. I, that, when I saw that big badge on his hand, I know that he's not going to be that same player. You know, when he's got that type of, we had the same thing with Karis LeBert where we had a, we had a hard time, you can ask Brandon about it, when we had a hard time in December, uh, he, had a, he had a hurt thumb and he couldn't make a shot. And that's hard to do, but you just keep playing through that he, and try to help your team in other ways. And that's what Ravate did today. Yeah, he's, he, I mean, we were going to go with him. You know, he's, he didn't play a lot in the last game, but he's a senior. This game means a lot to him. We just ever had a hunch. 
that we'd go with him. And Mark actually played well. And with the media timeouts and Ricky, I just stuck with him. So he's uh, he's really, uh, you know, he hasn't had a lot of playing time in Michigan. He's always represented his family. He's represented the university so well. And I wanted to give him a really good opportunity to, uh, in fact, if we, if we had the fouls to give, he was taking the last shot if we were allowed to run offense. And then it got to be four seconds, and we didn't. I, was good. I dialed up something for him. You mentioned spiking to some of the big shots that, that he made. And yesterday he talked about playing, calling the players only meeting and things. Has he, has he just kind of taken this team as his own at this point? Well, he's, try, he's trying to with everything they can. And that's not as natural to him as it might be to some of our former players. But he's embracing his role and doing everything that he can. But it's really hard when you are you're playing 35 minutes a game. It's really hard. So he's uh, but he's getting better from it, and he 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 even played better than that. But he's uh, I know he played really well if he was doing 30. More questions for coach? All right, that's all. All right, thanks. thanks.